everybody? This is Saul Castaneda with MCSE Green Wheels, and I'm here at home. And we're here bringing you some more, you know, maybe not so loved, but alternatives to the Fox bodies out there if you can't find a good running one out there. And today, we'll be touching up on a kind of a forgotten one, and that will be the Ford Granada from 1981 to 1982. Now this is considered a Gen 2 or second generation. Ford Granada was actually built and marketed by Ford Motor Company. When the Granada was moved over to the Fox Body platform, and that was back in 81, it also only sold until 82. So making this kind of kind of like a kind of a rare car to find. So if you do find them, that's gonna be kind of like your Fox Body setup, man. Those are probably gonna run some money and again it's only a couple it's only a two-year car even. but the 81 uh, Ford Granada a GLX four-door sedan was classed as a mid-size vehicle with a rear-wheel drive it came with a 2.3 four-cylinder engine and it made about 88 horsepower with 118 foot-pounds of torque it had an outside length of 196.5 inches it had a width of 71 inches and a wheelbase of 105.5 inches. 2.3 engines also came with a four-speed manual transmission. It had a curb weight on the base Granada uh, car of 2,879 pounds, and it was zero to 60 in 14.3 seconds. But it gave out 27 miles per gallon. There was also the 3.3 with the automatic three-speed transmission. That one gave out 94 horsepower, increased with 158 foot-pounds of torque. It weighed about 2,965 pounds, and it gave 21 miles per gallon on the highway. It was zero to 60 at a whopping 15.6 seconds on most gas engines. There was also the 4.2 liter which is the big V8 with an automatic 3 speed on it. That made 115 horsepower which is obviously more horsepower and of course you know with more horsepower bigger engine comes the weight. Gave out 195 foot pounds of torque and you got you get it 3,075 pounds in weight as far as curb weight and it made 0 to 60 in 13.2 seconds. In 81, the North American California version of the Granada was the GLX four doors with the 4.2 V8 automatic three speed, 121 horsepower, 200 foot, 205 foot pounds of torque. That had a curb weight of 3,075 pounds. The uh, two door sedan is the GL trim and that weighed in at 2,842 pounds. It was 37 pounds lighter than the four-door GLX, which came in at 3,879 pounds. The two-door version was a rear-wheel drive with four lugs. <laughs> Isn't that familiar? Remember, you guys can take care of that. Lots of aftermarket parts out there. It came with the rear drums and front wheel discs. The Granada came with the front McPherson strut set up in the front. It had a rear live axle with the four point links. Does that sound familiar? Of course it does. We all know what's back there. You know, you, you know what you can make work. It also had the shocks and springs in the back. The last body style is the wagon for the Granada, which was GGL. It was a five door wagon. It was also a rear wheel drive, live axle. It came with the 3.3 and a 3.8 engine back in 82. 3.3 wagon came with, made about 87 horsepower with 154 foot pounds of torque. And the 3.8 Granada wagon with the V6 came, made about 112 horsepower with 175 foot pounds of torque. And with a blazing speed of 14.3 seconds on the zero to 60. I mean, like that's like faster than a turtle, I think. The second generation Granada shifted away from the European influence styling. You know, as a minor history note, the 82 Ford Granada was among the first US vehicles to have the ever so popular blue oval return, which was absent on most vehicles starting back 
in the 1930s. In conclusion, the second generation Ford Granada shed about an inch in length, four inches in the wheelbase length, and about 300 pounds of curb weight, depending on the drivetrain, when it was built on the Fox body platform, which was back in 81 through 82. Because the second generation production only ran for two years, it's, like I said before, gonna be a little difficult for you to actually go out there and find yourself a Granada. Back in 81, uh, the production number of the Granada was 121,341 cars made. In 82, it was 120,383 cars produced, with a total of 241,724 cars produced in the two-door, the four-door, and, of course, the wagon. So, guys, be sure that if you have any of those Granadas, I can almost guarantee you that Rust has already done its fair share of taking a good quantity of these away. As by the numbers, you can tell they weren't really produced for a lot of people because, you know, even though it's kind of high, I'm pretty sure they didn't survive. Guys, remember, just because you can't go out there and get yourself a $5,000 Fox Body in full running conditions doesn't mean you have to miss out on the Fox Body hype. Because just because it doesn't look like a Fox Body doesn't mean it can run like one. This is Saul Castaneda, over and out with Fox Body News. See you on the next one.